What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Ah, crap. I'm Josh Newland. This. In this video. Oh, my gosh. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. I'm Josh Newland. This is my second episode of the third season of the off season series. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my typical morning routine, and I'm also going to answer two questions. Uh, what my individual goals are for next season as well as should you dribble with your laces or with the outside of your foot all right so first of all i'm going to show you what my typical morning routine is like take you through that i think um, a good routine is very important to being successful, to staying disciplined. So I've tried to implement something that keeps me consistent, keeps me consistently going to the gym um, and just starts my day out on a good note. You know, breakfast I really think is one of the most important meals of the day. And I think how you start your day um, more often than not will determine how the rest of the day goes. So if you're here, uh, to hear my explanation and excuses for why I haven't uploaded in so long. I'm going to explain that after. Um, and I'm also going to answer those two questions. I'll answer those after I take you guys through my morning routine. So without further ado, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll talk to you again after I let these clips roll. <laughs>
soon. So that was my typical morning routine. Um, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I try and get up 7.30, eat a quick snack, go to the gym, get a good hour or so workout in, get some breakfast and go to class. It's a, it's a tad bit rushed. You know, I don't have a whole lot of time in my schedule, specifically this semester, but that's the only time I can go to the gym. But it's also my favorite time to go because I just wake up, and the ironic thing about exercise is you actually normally have more energy after than you did before unless you're doing something that really is exhausting like a, a soccer practice or a lot of running. But if it's just lifting, you're going to get all those hormones and blood flowing and you just feel more energetic throughout the day. And just I like working out in the morning uh, regardless of any kind of science really. It's just how it makes me feel because I already got one of my big tasks for the day done. I don't have to worry about that. Um, and a lot of things come up later during the day, so I don't have to worry about, oh, I, I still gotta work out. So that is basically my morning routine. I apologize for not having uploaded on here in almost two months now. If I'm just being honest, my priorities are being involved in church, school, soccer, and work. And I'm not gonna sacrifice any of those to make videos, to be honest with you guys. So YouTube, um, it's definitely something I'm, I've put a lot of energy and effort into, and I plan on continuing to do that, but it is not um, one of my utmost priorities. I appreciate all of you guys that support me, uh, especially that continue to support me no matter how, how often I, I post or not. Forgive me, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try and get a consistent schedule. Um, I'm not sure how busy I'll be for the rest of the semester. I'm gonna try and fit some YouTube, some social media content in there. But if I don't, just, just bear with me um, because I, I gotta take care of school, I gotta take care of soccer and get training in first. And it's more important that I do it than just that I record it and show it to other people. So with that said, um, this off season series, how I did it last time, I will be answering questions each episode um, answering hand-picked questions that I find interesting that I could have an interesting answer to. And the way I'm doing this series, I'm going to upload about once a month or so so that I have some updates for you guys. So as far as updates since last time, no crazy big news. For the last about six weeks, I've been helping lead our team training sessions. We've just been doing it as a team. We get to choose what time we're out there, what drills we do. So basically how it's been going is Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. We've been practicing from about 4.30 to 6. Um, done a lot of different agility, speed, footwork, circuits in there for our fitness. Um, a lot of technical touches, getting drills in like that. And then a lot of playing small-sided. And, you know, we've had a consistent group. Um, it's, it's hard in college when guys know it's off-season. And then they plan a bunch of other stuff when you would normally practice that. Um, but just the focus is just trying to help turn our program around and it just starts in the off season. And there's no magic secret to it. You just gotta put the work in. You know, and, and some of the things we've done have gotten repetitive, but it's wrapping up now. We're gonna have practice with the coach starting next week. But I'm glad that we can at least have like a core group of guys that have been put in the work and the same guys that I think can lead this team once I'm gone in the future. So it's been fun doing that on Wednesdays. We just go out and just scrimmage and um, we've got a good turnout to that normally. And that's just fun. You know, on top of that, we had an indoor soccer intramural league. It was 5v5 with a futsal ball. And that was a lot of fun. Um, quite a few other guys were doing some outdoor men's leagues and then you know pick up on the weekends a lot of guys go play Sunday league stuff like that so I think we've definitely um, got a lot of playing in we've got 
you know, quite a few drills and touches, a lot of guys in the gym as well. So I'm glad to see, you know, we're turning this culture around, um, we're turning the program around, and it's just, you know, one guy at a time, one thing at a time. For us, it's just a matter of putting the work in, you know, I think as that carries on, then it'll be more specific, um, more focused. But for right now, we just gotta get back to the basics, just work hard. So that has been my big thing, something else soccer related. Um, I've started an internship here. I've been working with the women's soccer coaches at my school, and I've got to do everything from help manage inventory and equipment and gear to look at recruiting profiles online to helping them book hotels and stuff for recruiting trips. Got to help plan out some practice sessions and drills and stuff. So really just kind of seeing the full picture of what it's like to be a college coach, um, doing the same kind of tasks they would do. And so far, this hasn't deterred me from that. I think it's something I'd definitely be interested in in the future, that kind of job. I know for sure coaching of some kind, college coaching, um, about halfway down with my internship, and it still is looking very interesting to me. I'm really looking forward to the second half of the semester because I'm actually going to get out and go to practice with them, and it'll be more direct um, kind of soccer-involved stuff instead of more distant like recruiting and spreadsheet stuff. So that's been interesting, it's been a great experience. Um, and just, it's cool getting to know the coaches, getting to see how things work from the inside out. You know, other than that, got quite a few classes. You know, the work is really adding up at the end of the semester. Um, taking nutrition for exercise performance and applied anatomy. And both of those are actually very practical classes. It's really helped me learn a lot. I feel like I'm getting my nutrition uh, back in track, I got a bit of a sweet tooth, and that got the best of me for a while. And then applied anatomy is literally going through, like, what muscles do what movements. So just both of those, I think, are a good combination, you know, for uh, helping me plan out my workouts and my meals better. I'm really getting to that side of, of my education that I'm going to be using, like, on a daily basis now. So this has been a really good semester so far as far as learning and applying things. Um, it's been stressful, it's been busy, but I think it's gonna be very rewarding. So I don't normally don't wanna take up this much time just giving you guys some update, but it has been a while. It has been a single video out for at least like a month and a half now. And that's kind of the point of separating these off-season episodes by a while so that I have something to actually share with you guys each time. So as for the questions, um, the first one, is what are my individual goals for next season? I'm not going to lie, I don't have specific certain goals yet. I'm pretty sure I'll come up with that after spring season, see how spring season goes, um, see where we're at as a team, where I'm feeling as a player. I will say right now, I mean, kind of a given, but really kind of the biggest one is just to not get injured. I think that really messed up my fall um, as soon as I felt like I was getting into the swing of things, I had my spot, felt like I had my spot secured, playing confident, felt good, really just getting into it, and I got injured, strained my hamstring, and then it was just kind of a battle against that for the rest of the season. You know, I, I strained it a little bit again, got another little injury that put me off, and I barely got a play in the last game of the season. So that is above anything else what my main concern is you know I did strain my hamstring over winter break as well thankfully I haven't since then I think that's been a combination of me taking care of myself better with nutrition and sleep and exercise um, but it's still something I got to be on my toes about be proactive with and again like I said I don't have necessarily super specific ones but I really want to be uh, I'll be senior this will be my last year playing um, college soccer at least here with this team. And I really want to be that leader, center back, reliable, is like the biggest word I could think of. And I want to be someone that my teammates want on the field. I want to be someone that my teammates don't want me to be taken off the field because they trust me back there. And I feel like I could have been that guy last season, but the injuries uh, prevent me from that. So really just to come in better than I have any other season and to secure my spot and to lead from that spot, to lead the team. 
and even with individual goals, I really just, this is my senior year, this could be my last season ever playing this sport at a competitive level. And I really just want to see us succeed. That's been like my big motivation to set up these training sessions and to get guys to come out is really just thinking about more in a team sense. Like I just want to see us succeed. We have the potential. And if we just put that work and I know we can go far and we can surprise ourselves and a lot of other people. And that is what really has kept me going lately. So to be a little more specific, I'll probably have that together after spring season going into the summer. Um, but for right now, that's what I got for you. Thank you for asking the question. I appreciate you. Next is, should I dribble with my laces or with the outside of my foot? Now, I guess I kind of break this one down. It's a very different kind of question, but I thought it was interesting and something I'd like to explain, you know, talking about it. So most of us, I think, just kind of naturally dribble with the outside of our foot, you know, I don't know if this is just me, but growing up, pretty much every time they told me to dribble with the outside of my foot, push it with the outside of my foot. And I never really was really told to dribble with my laces. Um, when you think about it, when you dribble with your laces, you gotta point your toe down and just kind of push your, your foot forward on the ball. Personally, um, I think dribbling with the outside of your foot makes more sense. I'm also not the guy though where I'm like, you should always dribble with one part of your foot and never with another. It depends on the situation. Sometimes you need to use the sole of your foot and roll it. Sometimes you need to use the inside of your foot to push it in front of you. Sometimes you need to use the outside of your foot if you're making a quick cut or something like that. You know, they all have different uses. So I try my best to train all of them at least somewhat equally so that I'm ready um, for whenever I need to use any of them. But I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much never dribble with my laces. And that's because I think if you dribble with your laces, Unless you're just kind of dragging it way in front of you, it's hard to take that touch. And then you got to put your foot around the outside and then cut one way or the other, whether that's push it and then with your inside this way or push it and then with your outside that way. Whereas if you already have your foot hitting it with the outside of your foot, then you can just make that right away or vice versa, the inside of your foot, then to go that way. Definitely not the most super analytic breakdown there. That is how I think of it. So that is my two cents on that but I think the biggest thing to remember is just try and train all different parts of your foot I mean even for shooting and passing you know there's times where you want to curl pass in you want to chip it up you want to just pass it flat on the ground and each time of that you're using different parts of your foot so I think that's just something that is important whether it's dribbling passing shooting to train different parts of your foot um, train different techniques because you never know when you're going to need it. There's rarely guys at the highest level that just have one style. They might be best known for one style of dribbling or shooting, whatever, but there's rarely guys that really only know how to do one way. That might be their preferred way, but they've, they're have they not you know, a one-trick pony. They, they can still dribble with the outside of their foot versus the inside. Um, they might be known for you know, finesse shots and curling it, but they've got power too. So just keep that in mind when thinking about this. Thank you guys both for your questions. I appreciate it. And like I said, I'm really grateful for all you guys that support my channel. And I hope you can be patient with me. And I'm, I'm gonna try and try and make it work. But at the end of the day, you know, I've got things that I just gotta do. And sometimes I don't have time to record them or edit them and then post them and let everyone else see so sometimes it's just a matter of, I gotta get it done, and you know, my audience on YouTube or on Instagram or TikTok is not gonna see that I'm doing it, but I'm still doing it, I'm still working hard, and I gotta get these things done first. So I apologize, I hope you guys can you know, understand and just be patient with me with this, but like I've said before, this goes for any of you guys, if you ever need advice, um, you ever got any questions about college, soccer, anything personal for me, whatever, don't hesitate. Just reach out to me. Um, you know, I got my social media links down in the bio or the description. We're on YouTube. <laughs> so just reach out to me. Um, I'll do my best to help because I really appreciate the support that I get from you guys. You know, I'm just trying to, to share my, my perspective, to share what I've learned, um, and to just give you guys advice about, you know, and let you see what 
really being a college student athlete is like. So thank you all for watching. God bless. I will see you in the next one.